Hey, good day, all. Welcome back to Long Live Rock. It's Friday, October the 1st, 2021, and having a weekend here of rain and stuff, so I'm in here doing these uh, reaction videos, and I'm just making a shit time. <laughs> you know, smoking. I ain't drinking tonight, but I'm having coffee, but uh, that's okay. But, like, I'll just do them, you know, because I've got all kinds of music that I've saved up. And I'm always investigating new music, and there's always new music for me to investigate. Which brings me to our reaction video to this one. The Doobie Brothers, fellow boomers, have a brand new album out. Wah! Okay. Um, now, a lot of the older boomers probably lost track of the Doobie sometime around 1979, 1980 when they went in that weird direction uh, with Michael, what's his name? Anyways, nothing against that, just it was different music. But the Doobie Brothers I knew and grew up with was more like, kind of like a, you know, step away biker -y band, like not biker, but, you know, trying to grow, you know, and all that, and uh, listen to the music. So then, you know, they're getting into the, I guess the Southern California sound, whatever, the rock. Anyways, it's all rock and roll at the end of the day. Um, so they had a few albums uh, that they kind of went back to their older style throughout, I guess it was the 90s, maybe late 80s, 90s. I think there was one a few years back called Worlds something, Worlds Apart. Anyway, I'll have to look that up, but uh, it's a good album. We'll do a reaction on that one. There's a few good songs on that one. Anyways, this is brand new. Uh, they've been, you know, having, you know, pre-release for the album, but the whole album was released today. And uh, I haven't heard the rest of the album yet, but I've heard and have five of the songs already on my Spotify playlist. So, but we're going to go with this one. It's called, uh, well, first of all, the album, uh, I don't know if it's called Liberty, but it doesn't say any other name on it other than just the Doobie Brothers. And the song is the American Dream. Anyways, uh, when I first kind of heard it, I was like, it doesn't, you know, it sounds like something's not right. It don't sound like the Doobies. But then I listened to it again and I'm like, that's the Doobies. Okay. Now, I don't know if it's the best song off the album. I go listen to the album and I'll pick what I think sounds the best. Okay, based on, you know, my love of the uh, different kind of rock. So, anywhere or different, you know, our rock. <laughs> okay, so let's get this going. Uh, so, like I said, it's the Doobie Brothers. It just got released today, uh, the full album. And uh, this one's called The American Dream.
Well, there you go. So you might want to give it a second listen, okay? Uh, you know, make sure you've got it, the, like if you're listening to it on YouTube, make sure you got it at the highest setting, 1080p, because that's the best sound, I guess. Um, of course, it's better to listen to the album on Spotify or it'll be on Tidal, I'm sure. But um, yeah, that's 100% doobies. It was like, you know, when I first heard it, it was like, you know, I hadn't heard anything new from the doobies. It's been, you know, I, fuck, it's probably been, it's got to be seven or eight years since that last album. I think it was called Worlds Apart. And uh, like, you know, so it was just like a new song. Okay. What? And then I listened to it the second time and I'm like, oh yeah. And then every time I listen to it more, it's just like I'm grooving more and more. The guitar is like, you know, a China Grove, but not a huge rip like China Grove. But, you know, you can hear it. It's there. Uh, the drummer is, uh, they got the drummer turned up and snappy. It's different sound for drums on uh, on the uh, on their on their albums. But hey, you know it's uh, it's a bit of old doobies uh, with a little bit of a modern thing. Anyways, uh, of course, all boomers, you know, they were rock and rollers. Remember the Doobie Brothers and probably been to concerts. I've been to their concerts. They're great. So anyway, it's good to have them back in a new album. And of course, you uh, you uh, younger generation, well, this. This is how she's done, and you guys obviously are catching on because, uh, you know, I'm hearing some good shit. So, but the old guys are still doing some good shit. So, and there's a lot more to come. I got, I got lots of, lots of the old bands that knew stuff that nobody's heard or anything, and I got stashed. Oh, you guys will see, you'll see. Anyways, everybody, thank you for coming. Uh, you know, thank you to those that have uh, helped me out. Thank you, thank you. And uh, if you do wish to help me out in the channel, there's down below in the, in the description, there's a thing for buy, buymeacoffee.com. And uh, after this video, there's cards that'll let you know what, what the other channels I'm doing. Uh, I got five, or I think I'm five or six now. Anyway, uh, you'll see, <laughs> it's at the end of the video. And uh, yeah, so try and have a good weekend if you're not sitting in the uh, rain like me for the next four days here in eastern Ontario Canada and uh, hopefully wherever you are get out get outside and rock you need to get out and rock and get a big boom box out there and outside and just get her cranked and put on some of this new stuff man I have a specific list that's called wicked tunes on my Spotify it's called wicked tunes post 2000 because I'm looking at new rock from the year 2000 till now that's my big separation point okay 2000 and back was like right back to 1952 or whenever you know the first rock song came out with Bill Haley uh, well not, it wasn't the first but it was like one of the first so that's how I look at it pre 2000 post 2000 and I call my list like wicked tune hits my hits so I don't necessarily will go in like whatever oh well CBS records says yeah this is the single blah 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 I listen to the entire album like we used to and then we find the good songs because a lot of songs that you hear on the radio were not necessarily number ones on the radio uh, the who for example who's next one of the most played rock albums on FM radio but it wasn't number ones you know what I'm saying so uh uh, it wasn't like that for a lot of these bands. And the Doobies, um, fuck, I'm wandering. <laughs> ah! Okay, yeah. I'm smoking Jack Hair, and it's just like, I just harvested it like two weeks ago, and it's not even cured properly yet. And I was like, I'm just like, holy fuck. Anyway, yeah. Um, so we were talking about, you know, bands, the Who, songs that, you know, bands that, not necessarily oh okay that's right you know whatever this you know they tried to say I think they tried to put out won't get fooled again uh, was the first single off the album I'll, I don't quote me on that one somebody a who expert more than me but here's the thing is that there's songs on there that everybody loved more which was like Bob O'Reilly you know things like that they weren't necessarily you know in the top 10 or anything and that's a lot of albums like that some of Zeppelin's best songs you know never even made it in the top 100 so that's what I do. I listen and so this sounds good to my ears and maybe it'll be sounding good to your ears, you know, or at least add to your sounds that you like. And we got to go back to, like these albums are like 13, 14 songs long, but all you ever hear is the one song. It's like, what happened, man? Like FM Radio used to have like album parties, pay an entire album and shit. So, but people don't get to hear that anymore. And you, so you don't get these other good songs, you know, so nobody hears. And that's why Long Live Rock is here. So let's end it. Thank you for coming. 
Uh, I went over 10 minutes again. I'm such a fucking uh, buzz queen. Eh? Oh, not a queen buzz king. <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, I was thinking like uh, Canadian Queen of England. It's like, no, we're not the king. Uh, there's no king yet. It's coming. I don't even want to think about that. Anyways, uh, there we go. So, uh, yeah, thanks for coming. And uh, listen, everybody be safe, be cool, and be good. If you can't be good, be good at being bad. Thanks for coming. Let's rock.